Hi everyone, I'm Caleb and you're watching Caleb Templeman Vlogs and Deck. This week marks the one year anniversary of Onry TV's Who Is Caleb Templeman documentary. I thought after a year we'll go back and we'll watch the documentary. I'll talk about a few things. If you're new to the channel, Onry TV pretty much done this documentary about me all the way back around this time last year, back in 2019. So guys, so this is the documentary on We Docs on We TV. 22 minutes, we are going to skip some of it because I've watched it a fair amount of times. I haven't watched this in ages, so I'm really excited to watch this. One thing I loved about this documentary, first of all, is the music. I love this part. Um, I really love how they done a bit of a montage of the trailer. Really crazy, like, these guys, they literally drove like six hours to film this documentary. Because I'm like to them, you know, guys, we can do it over Skype, we can do it over Google Hangouts, but they're going to be on Arcade, we'll drive down to the gong, if that is what you call dedication. We're meeting Caleb Tillman. Yeah, I'm meeting Caleb Tillman. I'm pretty sure he's just over there, actually. Um, I'm very nervous. The mic on. <laughs> so, so these guys, to start with, they were nervous. Like, these guys were nervous to meet me. So, Ben actually met me, or didn't meet me, rather. He saw me at the Hilltop Boots concert back in 2016, saw my vlog, so this band has been subbed to the channel for years. Watched on Wii TV, the band guy looked familiar, but it's like, and, I, and it's crazy, I did not know this until the day of filming on the documentary. Which I'm actually really keen to tell him about, because he doesn't know yet. I don't, he, he's, a, he's just a kid. He's, a fucking he's only 15, 15 yeah. He's only 15 he's years only 15, old. But he's really successful. But what is... Really successful. I love it. Dude, like, like, got, thing, so like, he just recently hit 700 subscribers. That's a massive milestone. Um, I don't know, we'll find out today. And they found out, they did find out today. I know even since this doco, I've, uh... Geez, geez. So, never done a collab. Hey, this will be this the first one, This is it. Hey, Caleb. And it's crazy, at this time, because uh, we, we both got there early. We were supposed to get there at 10 a.m., but I got there at 9.30. They got there at 9.45. I was on the phone to a family member. Oh my gosh, sorry, got to go. The army boys are here. But uh, really, really good. Yeah. How are you? I never I'm, I'm doing good. I actually got it quite early. Yeah, I noticed that. Real quick, guys, buy your merch. Caleb, do a four and a half hour drive for you. Yeah. And that's dedication. Four and a half hours is dedication. It is commitment. Now, now there's there's uh, Liam. He was unable to make the trip. He's a very big fan. Got a FaceTime call. That's what I do. Like sometimes when it's oh shit, Liam's FaceTime. I love this part. I love this part with the camera down, the camera shaking like this. I love it. I love it. That's good. It's good to be here in Wollongong. You know? Yeah. For my vlog, I haven't actually started my vlog yet. Love it, it's crazy. I was on a FaceTime with him and like he was shocked. He was shocked. He he was really shocked, you know? He was shocked. FaceTime's the next best thing, isn't it? He was shocked. Right. You know? Yeah, there we go. So, so he was shocked. He was like, whoa, he was like, whoa. He'd be freaking out right now. <laughs> Yeah. So at this part, guys, Matt and Ben, they pretty much sat down with me to ask Hell a few it. questions. Now, I I literally pronounced their brand incorrect. I pronounced it any you. When it was supposed to be on we any you. That is so awkward. I love it though how they actually included that. How did you start? Why did you start YouTube? Started YouTube many many years ago, all the way back in. January of 2016, so I've been on the channel for quite some time, on YouTube in general. I uploaded my first video, unfortunately the first video was in vertical mode, <laughs> but uh, I did not. Yeah, first video in vertical mode, had to include that, had to go back from the beginning of the stock up. Back then, so to answer your question, the main reason why I started YouTube is to showcase my work. Absolutely. So I'm not, I'm not just that standard style vlogger or tech reviewer, I make my videos unique. Fair amount of YouTubers who inspired me. We've got uh, at the Got some inspirations. Got, uh, Tim Schmoy from video. Tim Schmoy video creators, he still inspires me today. Creators, he's very good. Dow Eves, another. Dow Eves, those guys, YouTube all the big enjoy. inspirations you have watched. Just in general, like even watching the news on TV, like you know. Nine, really, really good. I really, I really am liking this documentary. 
the uh, needles in the strawberry block. Right. You know, you do cover stuff that's happening in social media and in media itself. So you, you're almost on that path. So I'm, I'm basically a wannabe journalist. Yes, yeah. a wannabe journalist. I love it. I, I don't know. <laughs> a wannabe journalist. That's exactly right. Yeah, and, um, and, the, and one of the other things is that you and Phil Dogs and Brandon Matchton once did a collab. Um, we did, it was here, it was here yeah. on Wollongong, guys. We're, we're working on it. Me, Brandon Raps, and Phil, we want to do a collaboration, but due to the gold jam social distancing, it is technically be illegal to do it now. For the moment, for the moment anyway, for the moment. The, the only reason I bring that, you, the three of you are sort of in the same circle of like uh, YouTube, like you're all, not small time YouTubers, but you're all, Hopefully in the same yeah, like in the, in yeah, because yeah, ever since that vlog, um, myself and Liam have gotten into watching some collab. Okay, so this part here, so we were pretty much, so we filmed some of the doco, then we go into Wollongong, grab some lunch. Look at JB Hi-Fi, all that, and it's crazy. So about a week prior to filming, I inquired to a billboard company about getting billboards, right? We never we, we never got to that, way too expensive. And a as we were doing the documentary, the billboard, the ad the advertising agency literally rang me up. <laughs> and I'm like, Caleb B, Caleb Templeman dot com, and I'm like, and they were like, what? <laughs> this is crazy. Caleb Templeman, then, how do you make it? We may actually use a few uh, programs mm. on my computer. Mm. FL Studio. Mm. FL Studio, we still use it today, and it's very, very good. And another app, SoundCamp, on my S7H. Rip to SoundCamp. SoundCamp was discontinued in 2018, unfortunately, but that was an awesome app as well. And, other applications and, things. and right. then we released a movie in January. Um, movie? I'd say Move It was one of the best-selling songs. And they got somebody else to come on and do it. And I assume that what I said there, that was it. Yeah. Ben was saying... I assume that. There was somebody who, like, released your address or released around where you were or something oh, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and those days as well were not good. I'm not gonna... I did mention here that I was gonna give more information, but it's like, what I said in the doco is clearly enough. How many names on the show? Was it... Somebody you went to school with? Was it a fan or was it? Um, it was somebody who I currently go to school with. Yeah. Really? So it's like I I, I always knew him prior to YouTube and all that. I, I believe. Really. I figured out who it was from just the way that they worded. Your age, I guess I'd say. Right. Mm -hmm. Might find it intimidating that you're because one thing me and Ben discussed 100%. while you were just having a look around. It's amazing how confident you are. Right. I love it too because like. I'm extremely confident, like back, I was what, 15 back then when filming? Um, like you look at any other 15 year old, they're not gonna be like, what's up guys, Caleb here from CalebTempleman.com, they're not gonna be like, you know, what's up guys, Caleb here? Really, at school, yeah, we've got a few trolls. Then again, that that's a valid point, because it's like, never, never then again, because this is a valid point, that I've never been like actually yeah, bullied at school, trolls. but it's like, if you look online, it's it's not necessarily bullying, it's more trolling, and anybody anybody who goes online is going to experience yeah, bullying. Yeah, say, God, I've got Caleb, your content shit, or etc. But that, but... And here's the thing, I, I put my content out, that's really annoying as well. Yeah, there you go, imagine it, really annoying. And it was, like, no joke, like, this was for... Or the, they were doing construction the whole oh, documentary. But that person would not walk up to the street. No. You walk up to you on the street, say that. You know, they're keyboard warriors, as they say. It's all over a keyboard. They're it's keyboard all, it's warriors. All over a keyboard. Yeah. Exactly right. Keyboard they're warriors. They use the phrase keyboard warrior, and that's what they are. I you know, twisties on camera, look at guys. I, I love it here how they put the twisties on camera part, and down those twisties. We yeah. met, we met Caleb Templeman. Uh huh. We. It's pretty good. Did you ask all the, do you think I asked the questions we didn't ask? You asked the final questions you asked, they were the ones yeah. that needed to be asked. The, like, and, and they were advanced questions too, so to speak. Because, like, at the beginning they asked a fair amount of, like, small questions and that. But towards the end, they were hammering me with Lee, these good questions. He's very competent. He's very yeah. com competent or confident? hundred percent. Oh, like, you're not confident as well. Take a listen, people listen people to this. Who, like, do billboard advertising. Billboards? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to record it, but I want you to Yeah. Uh, Hundred percent. Tosk out there, like he and he was like saying, like thanks for being honest and like you know he's like. Yeah, I, don't know. I love it. I really love how they. I really love it how they mention the billboards. I really do. I really um, love it. And when I was fifteen. It's good, like, like they, like they're a bit older, but they, these guys literally wouldn't do it when, when they were younger and that. I really no, love I it. Too scared to even the phone. No, you were too scared to even go ask where to click check in at a hotel. Oh. He's always trying to get um, sponsorships. Mm. He's, 
He's a fucking hustler. He's a hustler, that's what I am, a hustler. He's, he's promoting himself. Promoting it well. Promoting it well. We're gonna use movement in the, um, in the credits. credits for sure. Really, really good. Guys, yes, the documentary yes, yes, overall was really, really, really good. Three, two, one. I love it, guys. I love it how they included the movement music video as well. I love it how they included it. Overall, guys, I loved it. It was an awesome documentary. I, I really did enjoy it. It was a was an awesome documentary. I really loved it how they included that part. You know? I really did love how they included that part. Overall, guys, it was an awesome documentary. Stay subscribed, guys. And also, if you would like, you can donate over at calebtemperman.com slash donate. Able to donate to help support what we do, and it is greatly appreciated. Um, There'll be more information about that coming soon. And guys, I really do appreciate your time, and thank you for watching.